Okay, guys, my next Glitz and Glam project will have to do with a place where I would like to house Mirabella's, all of her gymnastics ribbons. Mirabella's been taking gymnastics for the last three or so months, and she had her first competition meet and did very well, I may add. She has a few ribbons. She took first place. She took um, third place in one event, and she took two second place places. So she is so proud of her accomplishments. We are proud of her. So I want to display her ribbons um, in within her room, and I think that I'm kind of working an ideal in my mind involving glitz and glam. Uh, so I'm going to try to use up maybe the rest of this ribbon that I have on hand um, and see what I come up with, okay? Let me show you what I have in mind. Okay, guys, now this is one of my free finds. If you don't know what one of my free finds are, guys, check out some of my videos. I found some pretty incredible stuff and that I didn't pay anything for. So I found this. This is a leftover Halloween from my Marshalls Home Goods. And as you can see, the Frugal Nista paid a whopping zero dollars for it, I know. So what I'm thinking about doing is glitzing and glamming this out. I thought about, you know, just covering the entire item in sparkling glitz but I think that would just run me too much money so um I like that the border is black because the colors that I'm working in her room are a hot pink and black an ebony color so this is what I'm using as a canvas um to you know start or house or display her ribbons on but first I need to do something to um you know create a sparkle nice backdrop other than this black and orange you know <laughs> the halloween flair that it has going so let's see what i come up with okay guys for this portion i am outside uh i started to spray paint this white just so i can have a clear um, surface to work with but then i thought about it guys i have a technique that i learned from a youtuber named debbie d-e-b-i design diaries uh, I'll try to link her channel below. She's very popular on YouTube, and she does some amazing work. I did a technique called a glitter chair uh, that she featured on her channel. I did it in my daughter's room, and I love it. So I'm going to try to use that same technique uh, with this canvas. And I'm going to start off with my Martha Stewart Living uh, Metallic Paint. Guys, I picked this up from Home Depot um, seriously probably six, maybe even seven years ago. I've used it uh, a lot. It's very, very thick, so you don't need a lot. So I'm going to start with uh, a silver shimmery color uh, for my Martha Stewart paint that I just had, you know, in. I didn't have to go buy this. And I'm just going to do a coat to cover up the writing. Now I like the trim, so I'm going to try to stay within the edge of the trim because her room is pink and black. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, but again, I'm just going to start with a base coat of this Martha Stewart's metallic paint. And I will let you guys see that when I get finished. But it goes on very, very thick, guys. It almost looks like a foil. Um, a foil almost is so thick and nice. Very silvery and shimmery. I'm not sure if my camera is picking up the colors or not. But, yeah. So I will be back when I get finished with this portion. Okay, guys. This is how one coat looks. I'm probably going to go over it one more time just to get... Uh, a little bit darker in those black areas um, like here I just want to make sure I cover up all the blacks I'm still keeping the, this black area open because I'm I still have an ideal in mind what I'm gonna do with that now guys I'm not really worried about the edges because I'm gonna I have a, an, uh, a trim that I'm thinking about using the only thing that I am doing is going the same direction I'm not going back and forth zigzagging or going up and down. I'm just making some long strokes like you see me doing here. And this is going to be just another thin layer of the metallic color by Martha Stewart. You know, we complain about hers being a little bit more pricey, but you get what you pay for. It always is such a good quality. I tell you, I've had this paint seriously at least five years. And um, I, no complaints whatsoever. So splurge if you can and, and pick up Martha's stuff. It is really good quality. 
And again, I'm not really worried about the edges because I think I'm going to trim the edges with some bling. So after this coat, I'm going to let this dry for another uh, 15 or so minutes and then we'll do the decoupage glitter. Okay guys, now it's time for my decoupage mixture. I don't have any decoupage on hand. I have not really used it before. I've always used my own little um, recipe for it. You can find this online. It's just equal parts, Elmer's glue. I have a great big container that I've had forever also. I use it whenever needed. And I also use the Martha Stewart's glitter for crafts. Again, you're going to pay a little bit more for Miss Stewart's stuff, but it's so well, well worth it. This is a lot finer than the other glues. But if you, uh, I'm sorry, the other glitter. But if you find yourself using the other glitter, you're not sitting on this, so the other glitters may work just as fine. But for, for this purpose, I am using uh, the Martha Stewart's Crafts glitter in the silver glitter. And this comes in all different shades, guys. She has it in pink, teal, gold, really, really well. And I like it because it's very, very fine, okay? Now again, the decoupage is just equal parts water and equal parts glue. And I'm just eyeballing it, okay? Oops, you really can't go, go wrong. Okay, again, I'm just eyeballing it, trying to eyeball it and do a camera. <laughs> so it's just equal and equal, okay? And I'm going to stir this around a little bit. And you want the consistency to be um, just a little bit runny glue. I need a little bit more. Yeah, that's exactly, believe it or not, that's, that's pretty good. So it's just half and half. I think I may do just a little bit more glue in there. And again, it doesn't have to be an exact science. You just want it to be runny glue. Okay, so I've stirred that around. And now it's time to add some of your glitter. And with the glitter, see how pretty that goes in? It's going to adhere to that mixture. Okay. Look at that, how pretty. Okay, so we're going to mix that up and then you're going to put a couple of coats of that onto the canvas. Just make sure that those uh, first two coats of your Martha Stewart's glitter, I'm sorry, your Ma Martha Stewart's paint is dry. And that should do it. Now guys, you're not going to worry about the white because when this dries, it actually dries to a clear. Okay? Almost finished. And for my second coat, guys, I add a whole bunch of more glitter to that same mixture. Give it a stir. Oops. And do another coat. And here is the final project, guys. All done. Our little tribute to Mirabella's first three months of gymnastics. I did about five coats, guys, of the hodgepodge glue mixture with the glitter. It came out really well. I don't think the camera is really picking up on how glittery and glitzy this is. Let's see, can I get really close? It's really sparkly. Sparkly. Is that a word? <laughs> So we just added some of the rhinestone ribbon. I used my little, um, you know, glue just to adhere that. I put her name across the top with some raised pink letters that we just had on hand uh, against some black ribbon. Her room is, you know, pink and black. So we put Mirabella across the top. And because all of this is from 2014, I did 2014 at the bottom. A little picture of her at her competition. And then I put all of her ribbons on the right side, her first place, second place, and her third place. And guys, I decided to use these little clothespins, uh, some little sparkly clothespins that I had on hand. 
attach those. So this way, if she wants to take this to show for show and tell, she can just take them off. I didn't, you know, hot glue the actual ribbon. I just kind of attached them there. And there's even a place on here, guys, on the ribbon so we can tell which, you know, event it is. So that's fine. Th those can easily come off along also with her metal, her little pink metal. That can come off also. But I did use a little bit of glue here. So if she wants to take that in, it's no big deal. We can still take that off. And again, I just lined it with our little sparkly ribbon. Added a couple of um, little, you know, pink and white jewels that we had on hand. Another little sticker, you know, just to kind of doll and glam it up. And we're, I think I'm going to leave it here. I'll let you see her room later on. But yeah, it kind of matches all of her little glitz and glam going with her jewelry box and the pink and the black the silver and the gold so yeah I like the way it turned out and I kind of like where we have it situated so that's it guys thanks for watching guys